my name's Louise. I'm just going to take you through a very quick demonstration on how to use BodyStats QuadScan 4000. This is a multi-frequency bioelectrical impedance device which is used to measure body composition. Before I start on the device itself I'll just show you um, a little bit about the electrodes. These have been especially designed um, for BodyStat devices. Um, they're the gel on the inside is particularly sticky um, and that's being calibrated for use in body stat devices. We do say um, that for the multi-frequency devices you need an extended surface area for the electrodes and a very good connection on the hands or the part of the body that you're using it for. Um, so don't cut the electrodes um, in half and do make sure you are using the larger electrodes if you are using the device on babies, small children, neonates, um, then there are specific electrodes that we can provide to make sure you get a good reading. Right, the device itself is very simple to use. It's basically um, three main buttons on the front and your on and off um, switch just on the side there. Um, to run a test, all you do is sw simply switch the device on and you'll see a welcome screen at the front and then it'll come up and it'll tell you which test number um, you're operating on next. Simply to do the test you just press this enter button here and it'll ask you questions um, for who you're doing the test on. So it has your gender, female, if you want to change it to male we'll just press um, the up arrow key there. It'll then ask you for the age of the um, patient it then asks you for the height, at the moment we have it set to centimetres although you can change this. Um, it asks you for the weight in kilograms. Um, the activity level, now this activity level is used for the um, estimated average requirement for your calories later. You can also do waist hip measurements within the device, so it asks you for the measurements of the waist, the hip, and then you simply connect the electrodes um, and run the test through. The test takes about seven or eight seconds to do. During that time we do ask that the uh, patient is remaining still and none of the body parts are touching. So that's simply how you do um, the first test. You can go into the installation mode if you wish to alter any of those parameters or if you are using this device for research and you want um, to use it in a different fashion, you can change all the parameters inside by using the installation mode. Simply to go into installation mode, you just press the up arrow key, keep your finger on that whilst you switch the device on. You get the welcome screen again and then it comes up with installation mode. Now it'll ask you a series of questions that you need to click through until you get to the relevant one. The first one that it asks you is the language, whether or not you want to keep the English language. There is various options within the unit. We do want to keep English though, so if we just use the up and ar down arrow keys to get to where we want to be. There we go, English, so that's okay, so we'll just press return. It then asks you about body composition display. Now this is basically, do you want the body composition results to be displayed when you've completed the test? Again, you can have yes or no. We would like that in this case. It asks you the same for the hydra hydration status. Then another feature that you can also do is when you're in the installation mode, if you know that you're only going to be testing male subjects for that day's session, then you can actually preset the device using this installation mode to male. So when you switch it on to do your new test, it will just automatically default to mail. Select that like that and then press enter. You can also do the same um, with the age. So if you know you're going to be testing young teenagers or if you're going to be testing elderly people then you can change the average um, age that will appear on the screen. The height and weight you can actually change um, from uh, metric to imperial measures. So at the moment we have it on centimetres, um, you could have it on feet or inches. Just 
put that back to centimetres. As we click through it, you can see that there's various options you can change. I've just got to the weight there. Currently it says kilograms, I can change it to stones and pounds, or just pounds. We'll leave it at uh, kilograms for this purpose there. And again, your average, average weight that will appear when you do your test. You can have that set higher or lower. Okay. So now we're just going through um, various selections that you can have on there. Um, when you get to the uh, weight hip uh, measurement, you can actually, um, with some of the different parameters also, you can actually press omit, which will mean that you don't have to input that data at the beginning. Okay. Once we get through to the end, it will ask us if installation is complete. <clears throat> is installation complete? So you just change the default to yes and press enter. And then those parameters that we've altered are stored within the device for the next time you switch it on and do a test. So that's very quickly how you go into installation mode. So that was simply hold the up arrow key down, switch the device on, and release, and then you're in the installation mode. Now the beauty of this device is you can do nothing wrong with it. Um, if at any point you get lost um, with where you are within the device, you just switch it off and then go back in. Um, if I want to, if I've done a test earlier in the day and I want to scroll back and um, check the data that I have in the device, then I can recall data by pressing the um, enter key and keeping my finger down on that and switching the device on. It then says recall data and then I select which test number. So if I select um, number seven on the screen here and then press enter if I scroll back I can actually then see my test results phase angle, resistance, reactance, impedance and all the results will appear on there <clears throat> as a final one if I want to find out my serial number um, then if I just keep my finger on the down arrow key <clears throat> and again switch the device on then that gives you the serial number details there. If you are using the device for research, we do recommend um, that so you have consistency in the um, samples that you do, that you check the devices in, within calibration on a regular basis. Now, provided with your quad scan pack, will be this device, this um, calibrator. It's important to note that this does not calibrate the device itself, but it does tell you whether or not the device is still within calibration. Simply all you do is you take one of your lead wires and then you attach the crocodile clips to either side. And once you've done that, quite simply all you do, switch your device on and run through, just click through all the parameters and do a test, a normal test. There you go, and once the test is complete, you need to click through until you see the ohms and it should read between 497 and 503. Okay, so that's a very quick demonstration on how to use the quad scan device. If you'd like any further information, you can either refer to the research um, guide or drop us an email at Body Staff.